rent or buy a video, you need to know that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you understand what the film is like, you can look at the certificate it has been given. This film has been classified as 18. That means this film is only suitable for people aged 18 or over. A film with an 18 certificate will almost certainly have an adult theme and might well contain scenes of sex or violence which are quite graphic. It may also contain explicit language, including sexual swear words. It is an offence to supply a video classified 18 to anyone below that age. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make the right choice. Thanks for listening. You've been warned! Is all that we see or seem but a film within a dream? We shall go to Marvel Shadow Dinsmouth. We shall swim out to that brooding reef in the sea and dive down through black abysses to cyclopean and many-columned Yarnus lay. And in that lair of the Deep Ones, we shall dwell amidst wonder and glory forever. This is it. This is gonna... This is gonna be the place. This is gonna be... It's gonna be where it happens. <laughs> it's, a, it's, quite, it's an amazing place. Nobody's shot here. Really? Yeah, nobody's worked here. Alright. <laughs> Look at it. How long? Come on, come on, mate. No, half an hour. Half an hour tops, that's it. I just need to wait for the full moon to come out. Take the right in the and then we'll be gone. That's it. Right. That looks wrong, okay? Did you hear that? What was it? What was it? I'm just out walking the dog on field. Oh, lovely. Well, you never guess where I am. I have no idea. Go on, have a guess. You probably falls deep in something. <laughs> you know me so well. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. No, I'm in your house, going through your shit. You're in my house? Yeah. How did you get in my house? Some fat hooker let me in. That's not a fat hooker, that's my cleaning lady, and she shouldn't have let you in. Uh, well, here I am. Are you going through my knicker drawer again? <laughs> I don't know, I might set up a few secret cameras. Yeah, secret cameras sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you, you calling me, I, I thought about you, I had a weird dream. Oh, God. I was walking the dog, mm -hmm. uh, hunting the woods around here. Um, I really sensed that someone was watching me, impending sense of doom. <laughs> okay. 
died to pack a little bit. Um, really foggy, really spooky. I start to run away with the dog, and guess what sits up in front of me? It was a Lucio Fulci style zombie, and then I woke up. What do you think of that? Frankly, that's a uh, technique. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little cliche. We call that the false scare, right? Um, the, I mean, uh, cool. They had a they had a full cheese zombie in a dream sequence, but oh, come on, man. Even your dreams are cliche. That's it. That, that's exactly what I expect from you. Pretty <laughs> of my dreams. It's not a false scare if it's a real dream. Anyway, listen. Anyway. I'll be on my way back. Don't be setting up any secret cameras or whatever else you're doing. I'll be over in five minutes. I promise nothing. See you, mate. See you in a bit. Ah. Dead next door. Shot on Super 8. Exactly. Right. That that reminds me. I've got something for you. Mm. Speaking of analog, Super 8. Yep. I've got a piece. Okay. Um, working on a feature. Yeah. Uh, you know the Russian guy I was talking about? The shipping guy. The guy. Okay, yeah. so he's putting some money into. A pro I've got pretty much creative freedom on what it is. It's the feature, yeah. And it is a feature, yeah. But it's reality meets horror. Okay. Okay. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So think like Beatles about or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, we take real people. Yeah. No idea what's going on, mm -hmm. and we put them in situations, and scary shit happens. Okay. Why well, is this hidden camera stuff as well? Hidden camera stuff. Okay. So we're okay. thinking, um, yeah complete just they have no idea what's going on okay mm -hmm. so nothing to tip them off you, you okay. can scare the shit out of somebody yeah yeah i know which is what i do and i can love that but to do that in a reality setting okay yeah think anthology thing yeah. of like ghost stories yeah something like that so they, they, it's part scripted they're in a scenario but they don't realize the scenario scripted but they oh, have no God. idea what's going to happen Shit. So think like um, there's like great bit in Ghost Stories where uh, you know the Night Watchman yeah, yeah, tale. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. he's White House. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. His first time job. He's wandering around. Some spooky shit's kind of kicking off. Imagine that if Paul White House didn't have a clue what was happening. Fuck me. Right? Yeah. You're into yeah. it now. Yeah. Okay. Now here's the catch. Yeah. I need you. Yeah. To go out. Yep. Yeah. Scout, scout some locations. Yeah, yeah, can do that. Get some things under your belt. It's yeah. nothing you haven't done before. Yeah, yeah. But the one stipulation the Russians given me, everything needs to be analog. Needs physical hard copies of everything. Okay, so, so you you want me a Super Eight? Yeah. Okay, everything Super Eight, thirty five mil photos. Yeah. Um, he wants it to be as as true as possible. He's all about the truth of the thing. Yeah. Okay, and to him. The physicality is the truth, which you can sort of cool, yeah. get behind. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I did have a guy. Uh, I've not heard anything back from him. Okay. Um, what? What? Were he, were he scouting locations? Yeah. Look, I know I should have come to you first. I know I should have. This is what happened. Okay. But but there's a way to make it up to you. Yeah. I have no idea what to do with this. So check it out. Like, I know. Right. Okay. So what about? That. Okay, now. Hmm? How's that for an apology? Is that a Russian spy camera? It is. Is this off the Russia? It's proper 1960s old school spy tech. Yeah? You can't get a film for this anymore. You can. Is there film in this? Yes, there is. Now try it out. Okay. Yeah. And I know, right? I knew you'd like that. Wow. So what do you say? Do you forgive me? Yeah, I'll forgive you. Definitely. <laughs> right, where, where, where do you want me to scout? Right, so I'm going to need you to go and scout out a place. It's near Whitby, um, a little place called Markham. You heard of it? Markham? Isn't that, didn't that writer Matt have a script set there that the lad from Leeds has been hawking it around for years? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. I've read something about it. It's, um, this place alone is awesome. Loads of urban legends. It's, uh, it's really creepy, desolate, doesn't look like there's much to it. Um, I have heard about this place, it's really, it's meant to be really odd. Mm. Um, Matt were hawking that script around for years. Okay, um, remind me. Well, it was like a Lovecraftian thing set there, creatures with a strange language he created. Mm -hmm. um, he used to leave me messages about it, the, the language he created were based on the cigarette Super Kings. Do you remember this? <laughs> 
No. The guy used to leave me the weirdest messages. He said it was getting picked up. Right. What I, what I know about Markham is it's got those those two um, nuclear reactors near it. Do you remember one fucked up in the 80s? Oh, yeah, there's the whole um, the whole thing. God, yeah, I remember that. Is it, oh, that's there. Yeah, that it's near there. And that's, there's, other, there's other weird stuff about it as well. Okay. Um, well, that, I know there's an actual uh, monolith. It's like 3,000 years old or something. It's like totally Kubrickian, dude. It's, it's it's awesome. I think I know about this. It's got that, yeah, it's a massive monolith and mm-hmm. it's in that graveyard. They've done the actual graveyard run down onto the beach. Yes, that's one of the things I noticed on Google Maps. I've only seen it from Google Maps, right? Which is why we need you out there. Okay. Yeah. Um, just see what's about, get lots of footage on that, that monolith, that stuff. We need that in, it looks great. Um, How long do you think we need there? A couple of days? Days, yeah, just a couple of days, maybe. Um, maybe try a weekend, start yeah. from there. Um, the Russians got a place, okay? yeah. uh, you can stay there as long as you need to. I'll be honest with you, yeah. it's, uh, it's not the Ritz. Yeah. Okay. Um, you've got cattle, bed. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sounds about right. Yeah, it's not going to get five stars on TripAdvisor, but. You're also not going to have to wipe your ass on the curtains. That's a shame because I like wiping my ass on the curtains. Oh. Look, look, why don't I set off tonight? I can get, I can get there now before it's dark if you've got the, the, the details on you and the, the keys and stuff. Oh, if you're sure, yeah. I mean, that'd be awesome if you could, dude. All right, let, let's do it. Let's just see if we can get. All right, it's a per diem. Any luncheon voucher? towards Markham I remembered Matt's script, based on the short story The Shadow Over Inns Man, by Love Grand. I recalled lots of things from the script, mainly though I remembered the set piece scene, a man being driven insane in the hotel room at midnight, the noise from outside the room, driving him towards psychosis. found the flat and fell asleep, and I dreamed of the Yorkshire coast and Super 8mm, the Russian would have liked that. The coast up here, it's got an old, decaying, faded glory that Lovecraft would have dug. In the not too distant past, these northern coastal towns would have been hives of activity great places to visit, great places to live. 
now they attracted odd people and the fading grandeur all past now can be tasted in the air past glory is not to return and the people who lived here often had quietly desperate lives others moved here they moved to the coast the very edge of the UK to escape to escape whatever they'd done back inland usually running from failure illness addiction and they came to the coast the edge one step away from falling off a cliff and they hid here always ready to jump into the sea if they needed to if the past horrors ever caught up with them there's something particularly desperate about moving to the coast to escape and then my dream shifted to Matt the crazy writer what was Matt's script really about why was he so obsessed with it out here like Lovecraft I know how to rewrite the ending. I, I know how to redo the ending. I can rewrite the ending. I know how to. I know how to redo the ending. I know how to rewrite the ending. I know how to rewrite the ending. I, I know what it is that I need to do. I know. I know. I know how to rewrite the ending. I, I know what to do. I, I, I can re. I can rewrite the ending. I know what to do, and I, I know how to rewrite the ending. I know what to do. I, I can rewrite the ending. I can. I can rewrite the ending. I, I, I can rewrite the ending. I'm, 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 I know what to do. I know how to rewrite the ending. I know what to do, and I know how to rewrite the ending. I know how to do it. I know how to rewrite the ending. I know how to rewrite the ending. I know how to rewrite the ending. Those two lads. Hey? You're just like those two camera boys. Fucking terrible what happened to those two boys. What happened to them? Did they listen? No. So what happened to them? Quit missing. Just like a lot of people in this place. Gone. Because they found out what was going on. Out there. On the Devil's Reef. Leave tonight. Stay and die. I'm telling you. You've been warned! We've got uh, the sea. We should buy the sea for goodness sake. Don't worry. Uh, I've got my apprentice Stan. He's all over it. Okay, he's, he's going to clean all that up. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah, trust me, trust me. <laughs> okay, cool. Speak soon. Bye bye. The fuck you doing? You've, you've literally just said that it was to do with the rain and I'm fixing it, all the wind and sea. I'm hearing a lot of excuses, Stan, okay? I'm doing the best that I can. Just get it done. Okay. Whoa! 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 I didn't mean to scare you before. Yeah. There's some things you need to know about this place, right? Yeah. But a lot of things have gone down here. But this thing's gone down and things you need to know. Okay. Right? Yeah. What you've seen, there's been quite a people have been going missing, right? 
This place used to be quite rich, dead rich, bustling with people. You can tell now there's hardly anybody here. Yeah. You have noticed that, yeah? Yeah. Right. I need to tell you a story. In fact, no. I am going to tell you a story. Okay. Hundred years. This insane Scottish character was pure central casting gone mad. Like a crazy Simpsons caretaker. Rob loved that character. Was I being set up by Rob? Was this a sly dig joke? Or was this guy a real nutcase? Some sort of Lovecraftian character caught in his own nightmare. The guy being nuts, or me being set up by Rob. Neither were very happy thoughts. But I let him continue. I let him finish his story. Anyway, he, 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 he likes the idea of being rich again and the town going back to the way it was. Yep. He takes them back, as the boy said. Yep. He kept his word, so he has sex with all his daughters. Yep. And there's kids, three or four kids, boys, girls, everything, right? Yep. Kids everywhere, two, three, yep. four, right? He gets to the adolescence, and this is the weird part. He gets to the second adolescence. A second adolescence. Second adolescence. Okay. I'm serious, right? Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. Around about the ages of 19, 20. And then, you go back into the sea. These, like, kind of fish like humanoid things. Yeah, they're the Securing. The yeah. Securing. It's the yeah. script, it's Matt's script. Is, is Rob about? Is this, like, some secret camera? Are you wired? No, up? I'm not wired. That, that, was the, that was the other guy. I've told the same thing to you that you need to get out. Anyway, the point I'm making is, yep. is at the time that these securix, yep. humanoid fish things, Russian guy was feeding them people. That's the why it's been going down over these years. So the Russian guy is uh, bringing people here to feed them. You've got it. <laughs> you laugh. Uh, well, if has anyone else got eyes on this angle? Can you see this camera? <laughs> Somebody should fire the right. There's no right here, sir. This is a nightmare. This is real, yeah. right? Now, because this Russian guy has fed, kept feeding them, the people have got a taste for flesh. They want more, and they're waiting. They're waiting until the time is right to come out and take out the rest. So you can take all your Polaroids and all that kind of stuff, and your thingy, but it's over. I've been here many years. I'm not originally from here. Call me here. A watcher. The best watcher in the town. There's hardly any of us left. I've got to try and salvage what I can. And I've got to take these second eggs out when they're ready. They think they can attack, but I'm waiting for them. When they come out, I'll be waiting to save everybody else. Because if we're not careful, we're all going to disappear. And like I said to your friends, and like I'm saying to you now, get out. Now. Okay, man. Rob, uh, you, you want to look at your casting mate on this one. I don't know where cameras are. I don't know if this guy is wired up. There's no wired. They're out there and they're waiting for the time to be right until they come back in and everybody's gone, deed, fucked, whatever you want to say. And I'm telling you that you need to leave now. And they've got a taste for flesh and they are coming back. And that's why I am here. Yeah. That's the church of Dagon and Cthulhu. And one day, they'll come. And the old ones will rise. We're all fucked. As I said, get out now. Listen, pal. If I were you, I'd, I'd watch that stuff. And uh, Rob, you might want to get a new casting director. I'll catch you later, mate. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah.
Cynthia, can you get Kevin on the phone and just make sure that Tony gets something extra for this, yeah? Is that all right, Rob? Absolutely freezing down here. Happy with the shots? I was wondering, I'm feeling a little bit nippy. I'd like, like to abscond the area. Could you possibly send me down a car and some sweeties? Abscond the area? Who says that? And when the car picks me up and takes me back to the hotel, could you or the production company, if you don't mind, of course, uh, send me down or up, or up <laughs> some ladyboys? Ladyboys? We're not sending ladyboys. Good. Just meet me that with great. Uh, and I'll reward you later. And some money, please. Also, um, could you could you give me a stuffed animal? I'd like to stroke at night as well. Uh, help me sleep better. Tony, 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 darling, a stuffed pig. Could you please just get out of the area, head to the pickup point? Okay, we'll get you out of there. Okay, thank you. Clear the set. Good, because you're not getting any. Go, go. Yeah, it's me. Uh, yeah, I'm in this flat yacht in this uh, village. Did, uh, did the other two of you on a racky stay here before? <laughs> yeah, there's loads of Super 8 stuff. There's loads of, there's loads of uh, film on Pro 8, actually. They've got developed. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look at it. <laughs> uh, I'm knackered, to be honest. It's been a, it's been a mad day. Like some, met some um, local character, yeah. Yeah, there's some local characters. I met one, yeah. Yeah, a bit mental. To be honest, mate, there's a shower in here, so as long as there's some hot water, I'm going to have a shower. Yeah, I might watch a bit of this Super 8 and then get made down. And then I'll have a look around tomorrow, uh, get some pictures of the stuff. Definitely a weird, uh, weird vibe about the place, mate, I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's a bit spooky in here, to be honest. <laughs> um, okay, dude. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll have a look what they've developed and left anyway. Um, if that projector's working. So that old Dan's kit must have left it. Okay. All right, mate. Yeah. All right. We'll catch up tomorrow. All right. Speak so much. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Google, can you please explain Cthulhu? Hello and welcome to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm voiceover artist Tony Coughlin, and you may know me from such films as Markham. Today I'm asking, what if Cthulhu was real? The world can be a pretty scary place, while science continues to help us understand more and more about the universe. There are still a great many mysteries out there. One such mystery, if you can call it that, is Cthulhu. The great power first described in Lovecraft's short story, The Call of Cthulhu. But what if old HP hadn't made Cthulhu up, 
and instead he did in fact fucking exist in real life. How might the world change if this creature made itself known? So what if Cthulhu was real? Since Cthulhu isn't exactly known by the everyman on the street, let's start with the brief description of the mythos of this creature. Cthulhu was believed to be born on the planet Vrol in the 23rd Nebula from Nog and travelled to Earth with his shape-shifting family called the Starspawn. Here great wars was raged between his group and other mystical races, eventually giving way to peace as they decided to share our planet. Cthulhu himself began to hibernate on Earth in a sunken city called Riley, where according to legend he remains to this day. However, and this is the important bit folks, it's said that some cults on Earth still continue to worship Cthulhu while he lies dormant at the bottom of the sea. All right. Cthulhu is described as a, well, <laughs> he's, he's a big scary ugly looking fucker to cut a long story short. Sort of a manoid octopus dragon fucking looking thing. He's also described as a big fucker, hundreds of metres tall. Cthulhu was created with the intention of striking fear, disgust and loathing into man. Fucking works as well, it's claimed that even looking at Cthulhu will send a man to madness and a murderous rage. The myths say that Cthulhu will eventually waken from his slumber and rise to once again rule the world. So, what might the world look like with this big fucking bastard around? Camera 24, I just want to let you know he's taken the uh, LSD tea bags. He's taken two LSD and some mescaline. So he's tripping tonight, it's all on. Um, you sure we're going to be okay getting away with this? Watching the footage of myself, with the drugs pouring through my mind and body, did something to me. Did something very bad. But soon I passed out. But worse was yet to come. Quit messing. Just like a lot of people in this place. 
gone. Because they found out what was going on. Out there, on the Devil's Reef. Leave tonight. Stay and die. I'm telling you. Stamping, let's get some loud foot. I know what to do, 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 I know what to therapist. <laughs> He's gone out the window. Have we got anybody outside? Has anybody got eyes on him? Anyone? Team three? Team three, you there? Brilliant. Have you got eyes on him? You're right outside! Okay, four? Team four. Okay, where is he? Seriously guys, sound off. Can anybody see him? Crew one? To be completely honest, this this wasn't in his sight profile. 
that, you know, he was fully screened. I've read the whole thing. Okay, um, due diligence. This, this is a complete surprise to me. As far as I'm concerned, this is all on you. <laughs> Seriously, you guys better have really good insurance. Okay, because. Well, how did I know it was going to go out the window? <laughs> this is no. I'm not taking the blame for this one. Followed the brief. I used the people that you recommended. Okay. <laughs> he followed all the guidelines and the protocols and everything. There was nothing to indicate that he would do something like this. So my hands are clean. You better sort it out. Yeah, but can I just... <laughs> no, you're... you're not... <clears throat> yeah, but can I just... No. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? I'm not going to go out there and look for the guy. Yeah? The entire village is wired with cameras. It's a tiny village. Yes, we've been over the footage. No, we can't find him. Seriously. I have no idea what to do here. No doubt it could be an out of order. My nerves that I looked around discovered that my son was going to be a bit of a scene to be with his own son.
Bit of bad news. Um, he's gone fucking mental. Yeah, we've lost him. Oh, God's sake. Listen, he's uh, completely freaked out. We've got one of the cameras doing it. I mean, it's, it's awesome footage, but... Oh... Uh, has, 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 has anyone gone looking for him? We're kind of worried about him. Uh, we have got the, we've got the security guy. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's all right, man. Well, I know we have down days. <laughs> we've got it covered. If you do run into him, please, please don't break character, okay? That's all I'm asking. You're a consummate professional. I'll talk to Ke I'll talk to Kevin. I'll talk to Kevin. We'll get you some extra cash. Don't worry about that. Just please don't break character. This stuff is phenomenal. But I am a little worried about it. Okay. Um, yeah. No, no. Security's not a problem. We've got the guys from Trisha. Uh, or is it Jeremy Kyle? I can't remember. They're big dudes. Okay. They're big guys. No one's in any danger. Just honestly, if we can get this in the can, it's going to be gold. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Whatever you do, you cannot break character. Is that clear? Right then. I'll stay in character. You know I love you. You know I love you, Tony. Please, please, let's make this work. Okay? Okay. I'll keep an eye out. Now then, you're getting out and about a bit, are you? Yeah, that's tough to do. Aye, when the old ones knew they were coming back, they wanted it on film. Oh yeah, well, we got that. I also hear that the director sold you out. And you're one of us? No, 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 no. You're one of us? No, no, no. Securic born and bred. <laughs> You touched that monolith last night, ley lines all across the world. I know, I know. I yeah, that. I've heard about your TV show. I hear, I hear the ending needs fixing. Right, did he? He never wrote it, he never understood it. You were always tripping his bollocks off. Just full of script, man. Do as you told. This is an emergency. This is uh, camera four, mate. I think he's actually just stabbed one of the real villagers. Um, I advise all crew to clear set now. Clear set now, over. He knows what it is. He knows. Who wrote this? I wrote this. Who wrote this? I wrote this. I remember this script from back in the 90s when we were teenagers. You didn't write this. Who wrote this? I wrote this. You didn't write this. Who wrote it? I wrote this. Did you write it or did you type it? I typed it. You typed it. You didn't write it. You were doing a lot of LSD, I remember. We all remember. Was this script dictated to you? Did you write it? So, so I was doing loads of LSD. What's that got to Did do? you write this script? I typed the script, yeah, I wrote. Did you write it or did you type it? You're saying you typed it. Do you know what's in this script? What's yeah, no, what's in this script. Yeah, but you didn't write it, did you? You didn't write it. This, this is not a fucking film script. This is a prophecy. 
Where that? It's a fucking prophecy. This is what's happening now. I never understood parts of this script. I used to ask him, I used to ask him, and you, why does it open with a fucking totally unrelated guy with a severed head, throwing a severed head off a fucking cliff? Why does it fucking start with that? You tell me. You could never answer it at the time. It doesn't make anything a prophecy. This is a fucking prophecy. This script's a prophecy. Why does it open? I once asked you, you fucking told me why it opened with that guy. Do you remember? Do you remember what you told me? Can you remember? You can't remember, can you? Judy fucking like this. You fucking tight it. See, you've got a knife. What are you planning to do with it? I didn't write it, I... I just typed it. What? Well, I don't need any trouble, alright? I don't give a bollocks if you want trouble or not. Listen, your crew, keep these cameras rolling. Rob's not directing this anymore. I am. Got a knife. Uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. All right. I'm really fucking sorry. He doesn't know where I am, does he? Dan. He's coming to the farmhouse now. He's on his way. Why the fuck did you tell him about the farmhouse? But he's, he's fucking mental. All right. Oh, you fucked up this time, Dan. You really fucked up.
killed Rob and chopped off his head. Relax. Then, worked on, film crews and on the director's film monitor, I got a Zoom call from myself. This table. Sometime in the past or the future. Metal box, petty cash. Either way, you know what do, will I gave out. myself some instructions. Five grand in there. I knew what I had to do. I know I had to stick to the script. Take the money, go. the director dead, there was one last thing for me to do before I left the village. I would take his severed head and put it in the water, just like the beginning of Matt's script, Markham. In Matt's script, this seemingly random act was one of the things that triggered the rise of Cthulhu. I knew all hell was breaking loose in Markham with the rise of Dagon and Cthulhu, but for now I was far away, trying to fix a new ending for myself. It's a mad, mad world, they say, but I'm staying out of it. 